biologic as an important treatment option for people with moderate to severe psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, or both. For many people, taking a biologic was life-changing because it helped control their symptoms when other treatments failed. Biologics work by blocking reactions in your body that cause psoriasis and its symptoms. If you have psoriatic arthritis, a biologic can stop the pain, stiffness, and swelling in your joints. It can prevent the arthritis from worsening and causing more damage to your joints. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has approved the following biologics to treat adults with psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis. In many cases, these biologics have been approved. Network meta-analysis of 60 clinical trials for short-term efficacy, these four biologics had the highest POSI, psoriasis area and severity index, response rates at 10 to 16 weeks from baseline, according to this study published in a American Medical Association Dermatology Journal. Touch is how we communicate with those we love. But when your psoriasis is bad, does it ever get in the way? Embrace the chance of 100% clear skin with TALTS. TALTS is proven to help people with moderate to severe psoriasis achieve completely clear skin. With TALTS, up to 90% of patients had a significant improvement of their psoriasis plaques. In fact, 4 out of 10 even achieved completely clear skin. Don't use if you're allergic to TALTS. Before starting, you should be checked for tuberculosis. TALTS may increase risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or have symptoms, or if you've received a vaccine or plan to. Inflammatory bowel disease can happen with TALTS, including worsening of symptoms. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Ready for a chance at 100% clear skin? Ask your doctor about TALTS today and go to TALTS.com to learn how to pay as little as $5 a month.
plaque psoriasis was originally thought to be a disorder driven primarily by dysregulated skin cell proliferation. However, years of research have revealed that plaque psoriasis is actually a disorder of the immune system, driven primarily by dysregulated T cells. Today, biologic agents are one of the treatments used to treat plaque psoriasis. The first biologic agents focused on controlling broad inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor, TNF. However, newer treatments began to target specific T cell pathways. These pathways include two main targets, regulatory cytokines such as IL-23 and IL-12, and effector cytokines such as IL-17. Recent findings suggest that the IL-23-TH17 axis is one of the key pathways involved in the pathogenesis of psoriasis. Looking more closely at IL-23, interaction of this cytokine with its receptor triggers the differentiation, proliferation, and survival of these T-cells. The cytokines produced by these T-cells stimulate inflammation and keratinocyte proliferation. IL-23 has become an important target in developing biologic therapies for plaque psoriasis. Introducing Tremphia Guselcumab, an interleukin-23 blocker indicated for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy. Tremphia is a human monoclonal IgG1 lambda antibody that selectively binds to the P19 subunit of IL-23 and inhibits its interaction with the IL-23 receptor, thereby inhibiting the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. Tremphia reduced serum levels of IL-17A, IL-17F, and IL-22 relative to pretreatment levels in evaluated subjects with psoriasis based on exploratory analysis of the pharmacodynamic markers. The relationship between these pharmacodynamic markers and the mechanisms by which Tremphia exerts its clinical effects is not fully understood. Tremphia selectively targets and binds with high specificity and affinity to IL-23, making it the first of its kind among biologic therapies. Important safety information. Infections. Tremphia may increase the risk of infection. Treatment with Tremphia should not be initiated in patients with a clinically important active infection until the infection resolves or is adequately treated. Consider the risks and benefits of treatment prior to prescribing Tremphia in patients with a chronic infection or a history of recurrent infection. Instruct patients receiving Tremphia to seek medical help if signs or symptoms of clinically important chronic or acute infection occur. If a patient develops a clinically important or serious infection or is not responding to standard therapy, closely monitor and discontinue Tremphia until the infection resolves. Pre-treatment evaluation for tuberculosis, TB. Evaluate patients for TB infection prior to initiating treatment with Tremphia. Initiate treatment of latent TB prior to administering Tremphia. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of active TB during and after Tremphia treatment. Do not administer Tremphia to patients with active TB infection. Immunizations. Prior to initiating Tremphia, consider completion of all age-appropriate immunizations according to current immunization guidelines. Avoid use of live vaccines in patients treated with Tremphia. Adverse reactions. Most common, greater than or equal to 1%, adverse reactions associated with Tremphia include upper respiratory infections, headache, injection site reactions, arthralgia, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, tinea infections, and herpes simplex infections. Please see the full prescribing information and medication guide for Tremphia. Provide the medication guide to your patients and encourage discussion.
The RISI is an immune protein similar to those produced by your own body. It works by binding to excess IL-23. This can help reduce the inflammation inside the body that leads to plaques on the skin. That's how reducing inflammation inside can make a difference outside. Now that you've seen how SkyRizzy can work, ask your dermatologist if SkyRizzy could be right for you. Use and important safety information. SkyRizzy, Rizinkizumab Rizza use. SkyRizzy is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who may benefit from taking injections or pills, systemic therapy, or treatment using ultraviolet or UV light. Phototherapy. Important safety information. What is the most important information I should know about Skyrizi, Rizinkizumab Rizza? Skyrizi may cause serious side effects, including infections. Skyrizi is a prescription medicine that may lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections and may increase your risk of infections. Your healthcare provider should check you for infections and tuberculosis, TB, before starting treatment with Skyrizi and may treat you for TB before you begin treatment with Skyrizi if you have a history of TB or have active TB. Your healthcare provider should watch you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during and after treatment with Skyrizi. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you have an infection or have symptoms of an infection, including fever sweats or chills, muscle aches, weight loss, cough, warm, red, or painful skin or sores on your body different from your psoriasis, diarrhea or stomach pain, shortness of breath, blood in your mucus, phlegm, burning when you urinate, or urinating more often than normal. Before using SkyRizzy, tell your healthcare provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you have any of the conditions or symptoms listed in the section, what is the most important information I should know about SkyRizzy? Have an infection that does not go away or that keeps coming back? Have TB or have been in close contact with someone with TB? have recently received or are scheduled to receive an immunization, vaccine. Medications that interact with the immune system may increase your risk of getting an infection after receiving live vaccines. You should avoid receiving live vaccines right before, during, or right after treatment with SkyRizzy. Tell your healthcare provider that you are taking SkyRizzy before receiving a vaccine. Are pregnant or plan to become pregnant? It is not known if SkyRizzy can harm your unborn baby. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? It is not known if SkyRizzy passes into your breast milk. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. What are the possible side effects of SkyRizzy? SkyRizzy may cause serious side effects. See, what is the most important information I should know about SkyRizzy? The most common side effects of SkyRizzy include upper respiratory infections, feeling tired, fungal skin infections, headache, and injection site reactions. These are not all the possible side effects of SkyRizzy. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. Use SkyRizzy exactly as your healthcare provider tells you to use it. SkyRizzy is available in a 150 mg per milliliter pre-filled syringe and pen. Please see the full prescribing information, including the medication guide, for SkyRizzy.